Hello friends, I am Claire Villarreal and I'm going to be teaching the Buddhist mindfulness course available through Don Mountain starting in September and I'm really excited about getting to teach a Buddhist specific mindfulness course. So what makes mindfulness Buddhist? It's Buddha nature, at least the way I'm thinking of it for this course and I'll explain a little bit more about that in a moment. But first of all, I'll just take a moment to describe what I mean by mindfulness. You're probably familiar with this term, but we use it so much for so many different things that it can be a little bit difficult to know what it actually means. So in this context, I'm thinking of mindfulness as the foundational set of skills that you really need to do any type of meditation. And it's all about focus. So being able to uh, put your mind on an object noticing when your mind has slipped off of that object of meditation and then learning from your mind slipping off that object of meditation. All of that you can learn and practice and do without being Buddhist, without really having any sort of spiritual beliefs. But what makes this Buddhist is that I want to bring the concept of Buddha nature in to kind of backlight everything we're going to do in this series. So if you're wondering what Buddha nature means, it means basically in non-Buddhist terms that there's something luminous, there's something true, there's something real and lasting about us that is not our ordinary mind, it's not our body, it's not any of the things we might think of as being ourselves. So Buddhists traditionally don't really like to talk a lot or like use a lot of words about this fundamental, true, real aspect of our being, because as soon as you start putting what is real into words, you miss the actual lived experience of it. So rather than talking a lot about Buddha nature, we're just going to start from the assumption that our mind is based on this luminous, this wise, this compassionate, if you want to put it in, in human language, there's this profoundly... I don't know, positive and wonderful aspect of ourselves. And our job is not to take our gunked up minds and try and tame them or fix them or just make them different than they are. Our job really is just to start letting the ordinary mind settle. So when we work on focus, when we work on attention, when we work on noticing that the mind has slipped off of our chosen object of meditation, there's no judgment. There's no like lashing ourselves. It's just an opportunity to notice what's happened and to relax back into a more natural state of mind, which is relaxed, spacious, open. So it's really more about returning to a more natural state rather than doing some exotic, special, strange, foreign thing, which is meditation. So I hope you will join me for this series not so much to like learn a special, exciting, shiny new thing, but to really start what I hope will be, or to continue what I hope will be a lifelong journey of exploration, of investigation, of peeling away some of the outer, more superficial layers of who we think we are to get down into our deeper, truer, more real nature and discover that true sense of self that can never be put into words. So I hope you'll join me. You can find information about the course and registering for the course um, in the info box of this video or wherever you're watching. So thank you, friends. May you and all beings be well.